Most athletes believe that in order to perform at optimal level, you need to carb load for energy and satiation. There are studies and research to show that a high fat, low carb diet for athletes can enhance your performance even more than a carb load can. As a retired pro athlete, I can vouch for this. Before we get started, I want to get you a free resource in your hands to help you long after this video is over. So download my free Code Red Lifestyle Guide in the link below now. So when we're talking about carb loading or also called carbo loading, athletes think they need it. The problem is carb addicted athletes, they do need more carbs because it's a vicious cycle. When you're addicted to something, you need more of that in order to keep going. You become habituated to it. That's the nature of addiction, right? Well, carbs are no different. And when the body is being used to being fueled by glucose, which comes from carbs, then it's going to need more glucose to keep going. However, Athletes that switch over to becoming a fat adapted athletes driven by ketones. Once you actually detox from the carbs, you become a fat adapted athlete and you're producing ketones and you're being fueled by ketones. That is a much more efficient way to be fueled. And why is that? Because with the carb addicted athletes, you have this spike and drop constantly throughout your performance. You're gonna notice, and I know carb athletes, are you, are you listening to me? You know what I'm saying, you're nodding your head. You've got this spike when you have a goo or some sort of a shot blocks or something that, that gives you that sugar. And then what happens? Your energy plummets and you need another one to get it back up and throughout your whole performance, throughout your whole 100 mile bike ride or your ultra marathon or your whatever you're doing throughout your performance, you're, you're experiencing this spike and drop and spike and drop. However, once you switch over to becoming a keto adapted athlete, which is going to take some time, by the way, you're going to have to detox from the carbs. You're going to have to make the switch. You're going to notice a steady output of energy. It's incredible. And there are great resources. In fact, I suggest my athletes watching this right now to get a book called The Art and Science of Low Carbohydrate Performance by Dr. Finney. Get that on Amazon. It's a really easy read and that's going to really, really break it down and explain the science behind a fat adapted athlete versus a carb addicted athlete. The best thing that athletes can do, eat real food, drink water and get adequate sleep. Look, if you're a, an elite level athlete, high performance athlete, uh, maybe a collegiate athlete or a professional athlete, you're probably not watching this video. But the majority of the people watching this video are recreational athletes or not even athletes at all, or you want to be an athlete someday. That's totally fine. I'm a recreational athlete. I don't, I'm not a pro athlete anymore. I'm a normal recreational athlete now. And I'm telling you right now, you're going to perform just fine in the, whatever sport you're doing, whether you're running a 5k, which is 3.2 miles, or you're doing CrossFit a couple of times a week, or you're walking your dog, or you're doing light jogs, whatever you're doing, you can absolutely perform at a very good level, just eating real food, drinking water and making sure you get your sleep. It's funny to me. A lot of athletes, they try to get so into this, they hyper analyze and they do this whole carb thing, but then most of them are sleep deprived and most of them are dehydrated. So really, what are you focusing? I would rather see you get your sleep. In fact, if you get your sleep, you're going to find that you're going to perform much better than all the other, the crap you put in your water and the starch and this and that and the energy drinks and pre and post workouts, all that money you spent, all that time, all that energy that you spend trying to get those athletic performance foods and waters in your diet. And you know what? You would actually experience a much better performance if you just got at least seven hours of sleep a night and kept up your hydration with real water. So don't overthink it. It's actually quite simple. Don't think that you have to get certain kind of things. You know what I always like to say? I don't eat around my workouts and I don't work out around my food. They are synergistic. They don't need to compete with each other. You don't need to put that much energy into this. Real food, water, sleep, you're totally gonna be fine. If you're ready to perform at an optimal level, whether you're an athlete or not, I have a program just for you. Click below to access my free resource and learn how to get connected today. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Better yet, subscribe to my channel. That way you are informed when I release a new video. But I wanna hear from you. 
Are you an athlete or a wannabe athlete? I don't care if you're a high performing one or whatever you are. Have you noticed a change in your athletic performance since switching to Code Red? Comment below, put it in the box, and I'll see you on the next video.